Hey guys, this is Lane from DTO Customs here to bring you this week's Get to Know DTO video with one of the sickest Jeep Gladiator builds currently at our store. It's a 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, which we have outfitted as an incredible overlanding machine. Let's check it out. Now we built this Gladiator Rubicon from the ground up. So let's jump into the major upgrades starting with the suspension. First, we have a custom powder coated lift kit to make room for these 38 inch Nitto Ridge Grappler tires with these 20 by 12 Black Rhino Armory wheels. This setup gives this rig the perfect stance as an off-road capable vehicle while offering an incredible ride and performance on the road as well. Next, we upgraded the front and rear bumpers to these steel Road Armor powder coated off-road bumpers with front integrated LED cube lights and rear integrated parking sensors. We also added these amazing steel thin wall fenders with LED running and signal lights to really set it off. Lighting wise, we have the full length light bar with pillar mounted Trail FX cube lights. And as a fully loaded Rubicon, this one has a standard LED headlights with halo running lights to complete that package. As we make our way to the bed, things get really interesting on this Gladiator with this solid powder coated rear rack which houses a list of accessories perfect for any trip on or off-road. This rack houses side-mounted fuel and water storage, a seven-gallon solar shower, this amazing Tough Stuff overlanding tent and eight-foot awning, an overhead spare tire carrier with a matching full-size spare, complete composite traction boards, so when you get stuck, you got an easy way out, plus much more. Come down to our Gainesville store to see this beast of a gladiator today, or visit us online at dtocustoms.com for our complete inventory selection. This custom D110 is built to conquer any overland journey. Project Evictus is painted in Nara bronze and is complemented by satin black accents all around the truck. Undoubtedly one of the most distinctive features of Evictus is the fully packed roof. Up top there's a Cascadia two-person tent, two five-gallon water reservoirs, 42-inch off-road jack and a pair of traction mats all mounted to a front-runner roof rack.
powered by the 6.2 Chevy LS3, which is paired to a manual transmission and also features upgraded AP racing brakes to forcefully stop the vehicle with all the added weight. Inside it is equipped with a Wilson series CB radio, a Midland portable radio, climber meter and Archon iPad mount. The seats are wrapped in cadence spice and licorice leather which pairs well with the ultra suede whiskey headliner and black carpet. In the rear of this Defender our client opted for a removable bench seat to have more storage for their camping gear and also had the Rhino line floor for an easy clean up. Hey folks, it's Andy with Nuthouse Industries. We're out here today to take a look at a 2018 Ford Raptor. We just finished up an expedition build on. A lot of new features on this one, similar to some of the builds we've done in the past, but we want to highlight some of the new things that we've got to offer. Uh, this one's a full height rack, uh, Tech 2 series that extends over the cab, gives it enough length to allow for the James Baroud tent on top of the short bed. Uh, works out real well. Height wise, uh, you lose an annex, but with the Baroud, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, one of our new features for the tent is a little power module, quick connects with a plug into the deck. You can throw this up in the tent, gives you USB power, little battery monitoring, 12 volt sockets for fan, work lights, whatever you might need up in the tent. Uh, works out real well when you're done. Unplug it, close it up, put it away and move on to your next campsite. Out here at the back, we did our full expedition slide pullout with 15 gallon front runner tank. Uh, we have the ARB fridge freezer, all on our thousand pound capacity of heavy duty aluminum full extension slide. We got the uh, cook partner griddle here stored away. We got pressurized water system, 12 volt panel here for the uh, cabin lighting on top of the deck, as well as the water pump and some auxiliary switches. At our cook station, we've got the pull-out uh, full extension maple cutting board along with the cook partner gas stove. Uh, this one we used a lithium battery on, much more capacity, smaller footprint, uh, long run time out of them and lighter weight all at the end of the day. The rack itself features our uh, clearance lighting, our Dura Mini work lights, those are all tied into the accessory switches inside the truck. Uh, we got rotor packs on both sides for gas and water, high lift mount, we've got propane tank mounts you can see there at the end for the cook stove. Uh, this one's featuring the uh, new Batwing awning from Rhino Rack, a uh, huge awning, wraps all the way around, quick and easy to set up. The length is long, works out great with the extended uh, rack over top. Uh, this truck's headed on a year long uh, or more adventure. Uh, you can follow Daniel at Dirt Road Review on uh, Instagram and Facebook and follow him along with his adventures with his new truck.